next week, which is perfect because it has been so hot. Yeah, Ninja you know? Warrior in the water like sounds that. like a win-win. <laughs> it does, yeah. Yes. It's just about 6 o'clock this morning. Here's what's happening today in LA. Oh, a fireworks explosion, shattered windows, flipped cars, and a bomb expert explains to us why he thinks the planned detonation might have failed. As residents wonder who's going to pay to repair the damage to their cars and homes. Also developing right now, U.S. troops coming home. American soldiers pulled out of their main military base in Afghanistan ahead of President Biden's promised day. Then on the move, tens of millions of people are getting ready to travel for the holiday weekend. What to expect at airports and on the roads. This is Today in L.A. at 6. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, July 2nd. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Adrian Arambulo, and we want to check in with Belin yeah. on this Friday morning. Belin has our Friday forecast, our weekend Hi, forecast, our holiday yes. forecast. Good All morning. Of it. Hi, guys. Good morning. And I'm happy to deliver some good news. We don't have any big watches or warnings, so if you are hitting the roads, then weather shouldn't give you mm, too much problems. Now, I do want to warn you this morning, we have that marine layer and areas of low visibility. I'll get to that in just a second. First of all, here's a look at the temperatures of Fresh start in the 60s, but already pretty mild for our friends up in the deserts where you have 70s and Big Bear, 45 degrees, put on a jacket. Here is a look at that visibility. As I mentioned, it's low in a few spots, and that's absolutely what we're seeing at LAX over in LA. And here's the proof where we have those clouds right now. They're pretty low, kind of covering the buildings in downtown. Temperature-wise today, 70s, 80s, toasty in the valleys in IE, hot in the high desert 102, and in the mountains 84. Now, we do have some concern headed into the weekend. The details the next time I see you. Let's say good morning and happy Friday to Holly Hanula in for Robin Winston. Well, happy Friday to you, Belen. Good Friday morning. We're taking a look at the big map. Things at 6 a.m. are starting to get a little bit busier up there. Traffic is starting to build in the Baldwin Park area. We have a wreck on the southbound 605 right near the 10. Right now, a car is facing the wrong way in the carpool lane. We are seeing some delays already. I'm going to keep my eye on this one as we move to Corona. We have a stalled vehicle on the westbound 91 at Lincoln Avenue. That vehicle is in the center divider. I will tell you right now, traffic pretty light through Corona on the westbound 91. That is unique, but I will mention that uh, once you hit the 71, that is a different issue on the westbound 91. Want to give you a drive time. Uh, we're in Cerritos. Westbound 91 between the 605 and the 110 will take you just about 10 minutes, and then let's head outside to Universal City 101 Freeway at Lancashire Boulevard. Those headlights towards the left are moving towards the valley. Coming up in a few minutes, I'll give you an update on that wreck in Baldwin Park. Back to you. All right, Holly, thank you very much. It's 6.01 right now. Well, developing news we're following still. That neighborhood still blocked off after the explosion in a South L.A. neighborhood. Well, federal and local authorities are trying to figure out why a bomb squad truck failed to handle a detonation of seized illegal fireworks. NBC4's Tony Guinard is in South L.A. where many people want answers, but Tony, they might have to wait for a while. Uh, yeah, they're saying that it's possible the people who live in this area who were forced from their homes will have to be out at least through the weekend, and this is why all of this needs to be processed. You see the containment vehicle in the background, the explosion and the damage it caused has some residents asking why the fireworks weren't hauled out of this neighborhood before they were detonated. 